Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and this short video, uh, I suppose our first video in our series of videos dealing with permutations and combinations, uh, is just going to set out, I suppose, some important definitions. Okay, some definitions for us. Uh, and I suppose we have five really important rules that we're going to require. Uh, once we have these rules, we'll be able to answer the vast majority of questions, if not all questions, when it comes to permutations and combinations. Okay, But it's important that we realise, uh, I suppose, let's say, the power of each rule and when it's used and what particular circumstances, because that's what's going to allow us to, I suppose, to solve uh, the problems that we're going to be presented with in the next series, the next collection of videos after this particular video. The first rule I'm going to call counting rule one. Okay, so counting, counting rule, rule one, uh, and I suppose there's a number of ways actually probably to to define this. Okay, to actually to actually I suppose to get this across actually what it represents. Okay, uh, obviously when it comes to permutations and combinations, we're going to use this later on when it comes to probability. Okay, and there's a number of things, special words that we use in probability like mutually exclusive, ex collectively exhaustive, uh, words like events words like outcomes, words like trials, and so on and so forth. Okay? Uh, but what I'm just going to say is this when it comes to counting rule number one is that if we if we have if we have k objects, okay? okay? So let's just I'm going to give let's say a, a rough definition for counting rule one first of all. Uh, if we have if we have k objects, okay? K objects, okay? Uh, and Let's say, and if we, so we have, if we, if we have k objects, and they're k different objects, that's really, really important, okay? Uh, and if we select, if we select, if we have k objects, and if, and if we select, okay, uh, an object, okay, uh, with replacement, okay, that's important, with replacement, okay? with replacement, that's really important. So when I select an object, I'm going to put the object back in, okay? Uh, the number of possible outcomes, okay, if we select n objects, okay? So if we select n objects, okay? So if we select, select n objects, okay? In other words, we have n selections from the k objects, okay? And it's with replacement. Every time I select an object, I put it back in, but I'm going to keep doing that n times, okay? If we select, let's select n objects, well then, then the number, the number of possible, of possible uh, outcomes, okay, outcomes, okay? Uh, is equal to, is equal to, it's equal to, well, it's equal to k to the power of n, okay? Uh, that's the first rule, okay? So what that's saying is that if you have k objects, and if all the objects are, are unique, okay? Uh, and if you, s and let's say the k objects are in a bag, okay? That when you select an object, okay? And when you select another object, when you select the first object, you put it back in. You select the second object, you put it back in. You select the third object, you put it back in. You select the nth object from the k objects, and you put it back in. That the total number of possible ways that that could, that the outcomes could occur is k to the power of n, if that makes sense. Okay, that's the first counting rule. Okay? Uh, we could, I suppose, set this out in a different way, in a more rigorous way. We could say something like this: uh, if if any one, if any one of k different, uh, that's important, mutually mutually exclusive, exclusive. Okay, and collectively. This is the rigorous definition, and collectively exhaustive, exhaustive events okay, can occur, can occur, okay, on each of n trials. Okay, well then, the number, the number of possible events, possible. Okay. Uh, not events, outcomes, the number of possible outcomes is equal to is equal to k to the power k to the power of n. Okay? This is the more, let's say, rigorous definition, okay, this this particular definition here for this particular force counting rule. But all it's basically saying is this is that if you have a bag of k objects, okay, and that if you keep making selections from the bag, but when you make the first selection that you put the first selection back in and then you make the second selection, but that if you make n selections, n selections, okay, from k objects, okay, 
that the total number of possible ways that them selections can be put together, okay, the total possible number of outcomes is equal to k to the power of n. Okay? And let's just have a look at a quick example. Okay, so let's have a quick example. So let's consider an example, an example uh, which is an application, an application okay, of rule of rule number one. Okay? So an application of rule number one. Okay. Uh, so let's say we have a bag. Okay, so let's say we have a bag okay, uh, that contains that contains let's say four balls. Okay, let's say it contains four balls. Uh, let's say the balls are red, red, blue, green, green, and yellow. Okay. And the question is, okay, okay, uh, the bag contains four balls, okay, and you're going to select, you're going to select, uh, let's say, three times, three times, but on each selection, on each selection, okay, you return, you return the selected ball, selected ball, 